Michael, Mia. Okay, so um, we're having a bit of a technical difficulty right now. We need to make our screen bigger. Can you all hear me? Well, perfect. So welcome to another edition of Hey Home Cooking. Hi, Dawn. Hey Home Cooking is all about healthy, easy, yummy home cooking, okay? That's what this is all about. That's what we're advocating for. And the difference with this cooking class is that we have people from different places cooking along, all right? So today, it's so exciting. We have somebody from McKinney. We have someone from Lubbock. We have someone from Savannah. We have somebody from Balch Springs, right? Who else is with us? I'm not sure who else is with us today. Um, not sure if Iggy or what's her name on Facebook is with us today. Um, Shay Kiros. But today we're making scampi, okay? Are you all ready? Is everyone ready with everything that they need? So just to reiterate, what we are using for scampi today is our electric oil core skillet, okay? Marco Mia, you're good, you're ready. So the very first thing I need you to do is plug in your probe, make sure it's plugged in, okay? We are not going to preheat necessarily, but let me just do a quick rundown of our ingredients, okay? Really quick. So what do we need for today? Your two pounds of shrimps. Peeled, it's up to you if you wanted a tail on. I Mine is completely shelled and no tail, okay? In the ingredient list, I did say two pounds. Why? Because we do have some people who cook along with us that are trying to minimize their carbs and uh, maximize their protein. So I went all the way to two pounds, but I'm actually using a little bit less than two pounds. So this is more like a, a pound and a half for us, okay? So Marco Mia, are you using full-blown two pounds? Two, perfect. All right, so for those who like shrimps a lot, <laughs> You can go ahead and do two pounds. All right, Don, two pounds as well. Because you have visitors today, Don, right? I think Don has visitors today. So, hello. So, this is our shrimps. And then our shrimps today, it's not frozen. <laughs> I had time to thaw it. <laughs> and then, what else do we need? Three tablespoonfuls of butter and three tablespoonfuls of olive oil. That's how we're going to to make this a little bit better instead of full-blown butter we're making it we're doing half and half okay instead of one and a half cups of butter or six tablespoonfuls of butter that's like um one third almost cup okay we're doing half and half three tablespoons of butter three of olive oil what else do we need you're going to need of course your pasta a whole pound of pasta and then White wine, Ta -da. did everybody get their white wine? Yeah, yeah. Yes, so, hi Shay. Shay is here, but not on Zoom. <laughs> Shay Kiras, hello Shay. She's cooking with us again, yes, but she's not on Zoom, she's on Facebook. My friend Shay is very um, camera shy. <laughs> We're going to have her come to this um, one of these days over Zoom. Do you guys have your white wine, two thirds cup of this? Those who don't have white wine, it's okay. We can just use um, chicken stock in lieu of your white wine, all right? Do you guys have your white wine? Marco and Mia, yes? And then we need your chicken broth or stock. What's the difference? Your chicken stock typically is um, boiled with bone. The broth usually um, uses meat, all right? And then we have um, lemon. We're going to use a lemon, a medium size, both the zest and the juice. Of course, your salt and pepper, and then Parmesan cheese. And I did say these two are optional, your parsley and your red pepper flakes. But the, uh, oh, this was not optional. The parsley is, I said you need um, fresh, right? I'm using dry because <laughs> I did not have time to get the fresh Parmesan. Um, parsley leaves, okay? Then, uh, of course, your garlic. We're gonna need a lot of garlic, three tablespoonfuls or more, depending on your taste. Ready? 
So that's everything. And then the only difference for me is I think Connie is also um, adding some veggies. I'm actually doing two fistfuls of um, spinach. So this is about three cups, okay, of spinach. Because we want some more vegetables in ours. Ready? Hi, Rita. So Shay, are you good? I'm gonna try to make sure that you're able to follow along properly, okay? Okay, so here's the first thing we're going to do. Oh, and then finally, Parmesan cheese for garnishing, okay? Marco, Mia, ready? First thing to do, your EOC, bring it up to 350 now. So we're not necessarily preheating. We're just gonna do this one after another. No preheating involved, so all the way up to 350. And then, as soon as you're done doing that, grab your butter, your three tablespoonfuls of butter, let me grab a knife. Here we go. Three tablespoonfuls of butter going in there at 350. So this is like eight. One, two, three, four, six, eight. Okay. You know what? Mine, I'm going to go one fourth. Okay. One fourth cup. So instead of three, I'm doing four tablespoonfuls. I will highly encourage you to do the same thing. If you're not necessarily watching too much of your calorie or um, fat intake, okay? But see, instead of three, I did four because Marvie loves butter, <laughs> as some of you know. And then after that, I'm going to add our olive oil. So we are going to actually melt our butter with the olive oil. Does anybody know why we're doing it that way? It's not like any of you can answer. You can answer. Does anybody know why we're doing the butter and the olive oil together? Why are we not just melting the butter by itself? Because butter easily burns, right? So the addition of the olive oil will help not burn our butter, okay? Cool? So this is how we're melting our butter with the olive oil. With it. There you go. So again, our EOC is at 350 degrees, okay? You all are probably wondering, those of you who have seen this cooking class in the past, where is the other half? <laughs> My husband is MIA today. I'm just kidding. No, he's busy working. <laughs> it's one of the few weekends where he has to work. So oh, there you go. So I'm alone today. So you'll probably see him towards the end. I'll probably have him do the taste test. Do you see this? So do you see how your butter is nicely melted together with the olive oil, right? And then as soon as your butter is melted, we add our minced garlic. So start with three tablespoonfuls and feel free to add if you love garlic like we do. So I'm actually adding... Oh, Shay, it's 350, 350, 350. Shay Kiros, <laughs> I wonder what should I do to be able to have you come join us over Zoom? <laughs> that is going to be the goal of my life, to have Shay Kiros join us over Zoom. <laughs> 350, Shay. Yes, you don't preheat to 350. We did not wait for our EOC to reach 350. We just put it up to 350 and we added our butter and our olive oil immediately. We don't want our EOC to be at a very high heat because our butter, our butter, any, any kind of butter, it tends to burn fast, right? And we don't want to burn our butter. So here we go. Three tablespoonfuls of minced garlic as soon as your butter is melted with the olive oil, All right? So three. Is anybody going to add to the three tablespoonfuls? <laughs> I am, because we love garlic. Should I add garlic, honey, or should I slow down on the garlic? The only thing with garlic is here. As much as garlic is like very flavorful, right? And a lot of people actually love it. Um, some can end up being sensitive to it, that too much garlic can make them acidic, can upset their stomach. So it's really up to you. My husband said, go ahead, add. So I did four tablespoonfuls of garlic. 
We don't skimp on the garlic because the main flavor of our scampi pasta is coming from our garlic and the butter, all right? So do you see this? At 350 still, we're just going to cook our garlic a little bit for about a minute or two, okay? Everybody okay? Now, while we're cooking our garlic for just a minute, some people would tell you, hey, season your season your um your shrimp at this point. Okay. So you can season your shrimp at this point with salt and pepper according to your preference. So I will start with one fourth of a teaspoon, to be honest. Why so little, Marty? Because shrimps they tend to be salty by itself, right? So I'd rather you slowly add to your salt than put too much in the beginning. So I'm just gonna do one fourth, but I'm gonna do heaping, okay? Just heaping teaspoonful of shrimp and however much black pepper you want to add to it. You see this? There you go. And then after seasoning our shrimp that way, oop, one of them jumped, it's kind of still alive. You see this? So I season the shrimps according to your taste, okay? So if you're trying to watch your, your salt, just do um, one fourth of a teaspoon and you can just easily add later. Why? A lot of the other things we're using today, like our broth, it's salted. The butter I used, it's salted, okay? So just to be aware, after that, it's been a minute, don't wait for your garlic to be brown, okay? We don't want our garlic to be brown. We immediately add our shrimps. All right? And then, as soon as you've added your shrimp, because this is going to be fast, here we go. We are going to add our wine. Mia was cooking. <laughs> I'm looking at you and I'm like, who's cooking between the two of you? Are you taking turns? <laughs> Is it Marco? Okay, let's add our white wine, two thirds of a cup. So a lot of people would ask me, Marty, whenever you say dry white wine, which kind do we normally want? When you say dry white wine for cooking, two things are best for that. Your pineo, I don't know how to pronounce it, grigio, grigio, it's white, the pino, the white pino, or your, your I don't know how to pronounce it again, your Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> okay, those are the two best kinds. Honey, I'm going to need your help to open the wine. Sorry. There's some things I'm not used to. I'm asking for my hubby to help me open my wine. Sorry. If your wine bottle is already ready, please add your white wine now. Two thirds cup of wine. Connie, you don't have the wine. If you don't have the wine or anybody else who may not have the white wine, please go ahead and substitute your white wine with um, a cup of broth. A cup of your chicken broth. Now, if you want more sauce, then you add about a fourth or one half more of your broth to it, okay? My husband is trying to open our wine. Um, that's, okay, Sauvignon, okay. I have a salve, so here we go. Two thirds cup. We have to put this at once, why? Because your shrimp, it will cook really fast and we want the alcohol from our wine to be evaporate immediately as well with it okay i just added the wine so it should have been like immediately after you added your shrimp okay? yes. and that's how we cook our shrimps do you see this it's going to be really really fast yum everybody following along me and marco you're good Shay, are you good? Hey, Melly Ann. Hello. Hi, Tita Heidi. Thank you for dropping by again. Shay, you're good? 
Shay sometimes, okay, she said, yes, I'm sorry. Sometimes my friend Shay told me she gets rattled when she's trying to cook and she has to answer me <laughs> on Facebook because she's on Facebook. Hello, everybody who's watching us on Facebook. Yeah, oh, I just saw Shay actually answered my question earlier. Why are we melting our butter with olive oil? She knew the answer. She said, so it won't burn, correct. So it won't burn, perfect Shay. So how long do you cook your shrimp? Marco and Mia, how long? Because you two know how to cook, how long? Come on Mia, unmute yourself. <laughs> we need audience participation. <laughs> How long do you cook your shrimp? We're gonna guess uh, five minutes. Even lesser, like three, for as long as there's, it's no longer pink, all right? Because we have to be careful with shrimp. Shrimps, they can go tough fast and becomes chewy. Some people don't mind, some people, if you are in particular, that you want it to just, see this is already like boiling at 350. And look at my shrimp. Ta da! Do you see this? No more pink. Let me see your shrimps. Can I see your shrimp, Mia? Are you good? Yeah, I think mine is cooked also. Yours is cooked? Okay, perfect. So here's what we're going to do we are going to remove our shrimp from this. Okay? Oops, sorry. Honey, I'm so sorry. I need someone to grab. <laughs> I need so much assistance. I need someone to please grab my iPad Pro um, charger. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's I think it's on my um, computer table. All right. So when your shrimp is done, what you want to do is move it to a bowl, Don, a separate bowl. Okay. So we don't overcook it. With our scampi, we want our shrimp to not be overcooked at all. Here we go. I'm moving it because mine is done. The same container that it was in before. There you go. And then if you used white wine, I'm going to ask you to boil that for just about a minute more, just so we can evaporate it longer. So here, do you see how cooked the shrimp is? There you go, and I'm setting it aside. And then we'll just let this boil for a minute longer. All right. Hello, everybody. Um, Shay watching. Hello, everyone who's stopped by. Now, another thing that I love using for this, um, if you don't mind the flavor, actually, instead of white wine, or I actually combine white wine with some clam juice. Shay, uh, Mia, do you like clam juice? Do you mind the, the flavor of clam juice? It makes it so much more flavorful, okay? So there you go. After one minute of boiling further, okay, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit someone who just came back. Okay, I'm good. Connie, welcome back. Did you get kicked out? Okay, after that, what do we do next? Are your shrimps ready, Larissa? Okay, so here, do you see this? I did not remove all my sauce. The one with the wine, it's here. Now you lay down your pasta, Dawn. What kind of pasta are you using? I'm using spaghetti. Whoops, the magnet of my... I'm using thin spaghetti. Okay. Yeah. okay, so here we go. We just want to make sure that our pasta, whatever it is, is completely soaked in our liquid. So I'm using spaghetti. So this is going to be unbroken in the middle because I'm going to make sure it's laying down flat and my liquid can get to it. Okay, this is the important thing about doing our pasta without having to boil it separately when we use our salad master cooking system, okay? And then this few pieces, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna break it, okay? Just so I can add it to the sides. Do you see that? Marco, Mia, there you go. And sorry, then, Marvie, did you cook the broth already? Not yet, it's right here. Oh, all right, okay. 
So pasta first, and then you add your broth at this point. How much broth? Now, here we go. If you want your pasta to be al dente, the total amount of the liquid, including the one that um, we made earlier with the white, white wine, should be about three and a half cups. So one, I'm going to add three and one fourth just because my family likes our pasta al dente. Two, three, for a pound of pasta, I found that the magic amount of liquid is three and a half if you want it al dente. Now, if you want it to be a little bit softer, then you can please add one fourth more of your broth or whatever liquid it is you're using for your sauce. So instead of three and a half, you go full blown three and three fourths if you want it softer. Make sense? All right, everybody. So after you do that, our EOC is still at 350. Make sure your pasta is completely submerged. Do you see this, Mia Marco? Yes? And then we cover it. Completely covered. And we are going to wait for this bulb to start clicking. Everybody following along well so far? Hello, Claremont and Sabre. Thank you for dropping by. We're making scampi today. So we're going to wait for this to start clicking, all right? Any questions so far, everybody? Then depending on what kind of pasta you have, I'll tell you how long you need to cook it at a lower temperature later, as soon as we have this clicking, all right? Marco and Mia? So now let me just go around real quick. Is anybody else adding vegetables like I am? Mine is just spinach. Are you adding anything, Marco? Any vegetable? No? You're just going I do. Who is? I Connie? do. Yes, Connie, what are you adding? Is that Connie who said I do? Yes, uh, I do have a um, asparagus and a bell pepper. Okay, so Connie has two different kinds, asparagus and bell pepper. Now, if you have asparagus and bell pepper, did you cut them up, small pieces? Yes? Connie, okay, perfect. All right, so... When the vapor valve starts clicking is when you will put your vegetables in. But if you want your vegetables a little bit more cooked rather than a little bit crunchy, do you want your vegetable completely cooked? Like there's no crunch at all, or do you want it a little bit crunchy? Connie. Oh, yeah, uh, I want a little bit crunchy, please. Okay, so crunchy. So if you want your vegetables like that to be a little bit crunchy, what you do is you add it when your vapor valve starts clicking, okay? For those who want their vegetables completely cooked, because you know, again, it's according to your preference, then you can add it right like in the beginning before you, your vapor valve even starts clicking, all right? That's the difference. Me, the spinach, because you know that spinach does not need too much... I'm cooking. I will not even cook this with heat. I will just add it when everything is done at the end. Okay, makes sense. So, is there, and Nerissa, are you ha are you adding um vegetables to yours? No, not me. Not you. Okay. Hi, baby V. Thank you for dropping by. I'm making scampi. We're making scampi, and we have um. Five different homes cooking with us today, which is exciting. I hope you like your scampi. All right. So let me share with you a little bit of a trivia while we're waiting for this to click. Do you know where this term scampi came from? It's an Italian term, right? But um, literally, the translation for scampi is actually, it's this crustacean, um, it's a seafood that's very similar to a lobster, but it's smaller, all right? That is what scampi really is.
But then what happened is, oops, there you go. It's clicking like silly. When your bob starts clicking, Marco Mia, do you see this rapid? Lower your temperature to 210. When your bob starts clicking, lower your temperature to 210. And then, depending on how you want your pasta, you put your timer on. If you want it al dente, then do 10 minutes. I have to do my water. If you want it a little bit softer, especially if you have kids, mm -hmm. then do 12 minutes. Does that make sense? So lower your temperature to uh, I don't even understand. Funny, when your vapor bulb starts clicking, lower your temperature to 210. And then add your vegetables because you're adding vegetables, right? And then put your timer on to 12 minutes. All right? So that's exclusively for Connie because she has vegetables. For the rest of us, Dawn, Narisa, and Mia, 10 minutes. And then after a little bit of a while, about two minutes, this bulb will stop clicking. Okay? Don, you're good? Don, Don, Don. Are you okay, Don? Yes? So see, it stopped clicking until I touched it. And then there, it's gone again. <laughs> okay, dogs. And um, is anybody going to add some red pepper flakes? if you want it. Um, usually we do this per person because some of us don't want anything hot, don't go spicy. And then, like I said, I actually have dry parsley. So what are we gonna do right now? Here's what we're gonna do while we're waiting for the 10 minute mark. Two things. The first thing is here, grab your lemon, okay? pre-washed really well. And then if you have a grater, a handheld one, Mia and Marco, or for those of you who have the Solid Master um, processor, you use cone number one or your handheld grater to zest your lemon, okay? Zest your lemon right now. Now the key is here when you're zesting lemon, I always try to share this, don't go too deep, just make sure you're just getting the top. Why? If you go too deep, the white one, if it's too deep, it can be bitter. It can get bitter, all right? So Marco Mia, watch, look. I can't wait for you to have your machine too. They will make your life so easy. Are you zesting anything? No, no? <laughs> Marco Mia looks very relaxed. You're the first couple who's ever cooked with me who looks so relaxed. Oh, no, yeah, we need, we still need to buy a grater for us. That's one thing we don't have. Okay, so we don't, you don't have a grater. Okay, but do you have your lemon? We have a lemon that you're going to juice? No, or do you have your lemon juice, the one that's already in a bottle? We have a lemon that we're going to juice. Okay, perfect. Okie dokes. Here we go. Zest, zest, zest. So I zested my whole lemon, okay? So this is like, how much is this in total? This is going to be about half a teaspoon in reality. Did you see? Ta-da! Yum. Now, I will say as much as possible, don't skip the lemon zest because to be honest, this is what makes the healthier version of scampi work. It adds such a great layer of flavor to your scampi, even though you did not use as much butter, okay? But it's okay because you still have your lemon juice, it will still be helpful. Perfect, there you go. So there's your lemon zest. Then what else do you do? What else can you do while waiting for this? I only have six more minutes in my timer. If you have Parmesan cheese that you need to shred, then this will be a time to shred it as well. Marco and me, are you using um, pre-shredded? Yes, okay, perfect. How much are you using, if I may ask? How much 
Parmesan cheese are you going to use? You don't know? Are you like me? I don't measure my Parmesan cheese because I put a lot. We kind, of just, we kind of just add to it until we feel like until it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understand. I'm the same way. Okay. But here we go. I am going to shred my Parmesan. Now, two things to note when it comes to Parmesan cheese or any other kind of cheese, we always recommend that you get a block as much as possible and shred it fresh every time. Right, Don? Don has heard me say this over and over. Why? Come on, Don. So I'm not the only one speaking. <laughs> Why, Don? Why should we buy block and shred it fresh? What's the advantage? Teacher Don, who remembers? Who remembers why? Come on, Marco. It has to do with like the, the an extra ingredient in it to keep it from like sticking together. Right, the cellulose, right? So to avoid um, unnecessary um, chemicals in your cheese, so it's not as full of the chemicals, get the block and shred it fresh all right perfect great job mia you kind of remembered okay gone here we go now the other thing that i always share about parmesan parmesan is not necessarily a cheese that you cook on high heat this is more like a garnishing cheese okay so you always want to add it in the end you know how when you go to the restaurants they have this um big big um cheese grater or container and they ask you want some cheese and they kind of like add it right fresh on top if you go to the fancy italian restaurants that's what they do and that's for a reason why because heating up your parmesan changes its flavor it breaks it down okay in case you didn't know so whenever i cook parmesan cheese especially with um, for example last week when we did the alfredo it was at a very low heat 210 if you see the video, that is why. And we just melted it. And as soon as it was melted, took off the heat. All right? That's the reason why. So how much Parmesan cheese do you think is this? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Probably two cups. <laughs> That's how much I'm going to use for this whole container. OK, I only have three more minutes on my clock. Everybody OK? Hello, everybody. Mine, I have seven minutes on mine. I don't know whether maybe I'm late. 20 or 210. Oh, Shay, I'm so sorry. You didn't hear me. It's 210. 210. A lot of times at 220, your valve will not stop clicking. So the most effective temperature to bring it down to is 210. See? The valve stops clicking. And then later, when we when our time is done, and you want to open your um, EOC, you will feel the semi vacuum cooking effect. So we ended up cooking our pasta without boiling it. Isn't that cool, Mia? Pretty cool, huh? Yes. So there you go. So this is about two cups, two cups and a half. Dawn, you're okay. Connie, you're good. Connie, Con? Yes, Con. Yes, okay. yes, Pop. Okay, here. Yeah. How much more time do you have on your clock, in your EOC? How much more time do you have? Two minutes, three, four, five minutes. Okay, five. Five minutes. I have two on mine. Don, how much more time do you have? I have the same amount of time as you. I'm sorry, you keep freezing on me. Oh, sorry. Am I freezing with anyone else? I hope not. Okay, perfect. Okay, just, just done. <laughs> All right, Narisa, how much more time do you have left? Okay, oh, one minute now. Did you see that? That's five really minutes on mine. Five on yours. So when my timer here is done, this is pretty much done, Marco Mia. Do you see how fast? It's faster than going to a restaurant and ordering and being served. Correct? What do you think? Is that true? Yes, no. Yes, no. 
Okay, right? mine is look like it's 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 cooked already because I use angel hair. Yes, because Connie used smaller strands. Okay, so perfect corn. If it's done, then you can add back your shrimp, and then at this point, you also add your lemon zest. All right, so however much lemon zest, when your pasta is done, the first thing we're going to add is the lemon zest and the juice, okay? How much juice? Half of your lemon, okay? Go easy on the lemon juice. Add it as you go. Don't put the whole thing because if you have a bigger lemon, some people feel like it's too much, all right? So Dawn, I'm going to grab my lemon. I'm going to juice just half of it. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Lemon. For your pasta when it's done. Okay, so lemon. see, juice half of my lemon. So, add, so as soon as your pasta is done, mine is done too. Marco Mia, mine is done. Dun, da, da, da. Oops, it's all a bit watery, so I'm going to bring up my temperature. Marvi, are we not putting tomatoes in it? You can add your tomatoes now. Did you have tomatoes? No, I did not say tomatoes. But you can add it now. Well, the fire roast tomatoes. I have tomatoes. mine already. Yeah. So Connie added hers. If you have tomatoes, Don, you can add it now. Okay. If it's a little watery, what, what temperature do we bring it up to? Okay, so here we're bre I'm breaking it up. Do you see this? I brought up my temperature to 350 without the lid on. And then don't worry if it's a little bit watery. Why? Just about two more minutes and this is going to absorb all the water. So a lot of times people go, oh no, there's still so much water. Mm -mm. Break up your pasta like I'm doing what? See, it's gone. Do you see that? And then here I'm adding my zest, teaspoon full of zest, dun, 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 dun. and what did I say are we adding next? If your pasta is done, your lemon juice, please. Are you okay, Marco Mia? Do you want me to, do you want to show me what's going on with you so I can tell you what to do? To tweak it, if you need to tweak it, tweak it. I'm going to use my cone, number one, to get the juice of my lemon. This is what I always do. Mia? Oh, that's gonna be fine. Your juice, that um, sauce, it's going to dry up pretty fast. If you wanna help it out a little bit, bring up your temperature to 350 like I did, and I'm gonna leave it on for just a minute, and then it's done. I'm turning off my stuff now, completely off. You see this? This is how I'm juicing my lemon with my cone number one. Straight to the pasta. And then the next thing I'm going to add is my spinach. Remember, I will not even cook my spinach with heat. I am going to do it with just the heat remaining from my pasta. This is all you really need. You just want to wilt your spinach. Okay? with the natural heat from the pasta is what I'm doing, you see? All right. And then after this, because I am just now adding my pasta, Donna, are you okay? The last thing you will add is your parsley. You can add it to this whole pot or you can use it to garnish per plate, up to you. What do you wanna do? Me well, and are you, what are you gonna do, Connie? Are you gonna add your parsley? Um, no, um, I'm okay. I'm I use the dried parsley, but yeah. it's only a little bit, and I'm done. I'm turning off already my EOC because my okay. angel here is ready. Yeah, okay. mine is already done. I turned it off completely. I'm adding a whole tablespoonful of parsley, dried parsley because our family loves parsley. After that, you can add your, um, you can add back your shrimps or Marco Mia. You can add it to every plate on top. 
Make sense? And then it's the same thing with your Parmesan. Do you see this? This is done. Now, if you want to add some salt or pepper, you can do that too. I'm gonna do it this way, watch. Me, I'm just gonna add all my shrimps back. And da -da -da. There you go. Can you see? I'm sorry, I'm blocking my camera. Here you go, everybody. I added my shrimp back. So we did not overcook our shrimp. It was perfect because we did it in the beginning. And now it's all there. Everybody okay? Ta -da! There's your scampi. Shay, are you okay? Hi, Joy. Perfect. Okay. Um, you also did angel hair, so you're also done. Here we go. So the only thing that's remaining for everybody to add according to your taste is what? Your Parmesan cheese and your red pepper flakes. Marco Mia, you're good. Have you tried it yet? Okay, now here's where good. We're going to do our um, how do you call it? <laughs> Not mandatory, obligatory going around to show us what you did. Okay. Um, let me call my who can I call to taste it? My husband or my child? Child or husband? Um, honey or Mikael, one of you. I'm calling somebody from my family to come try this. Yeah. Who wants to try? And then I need help to go around and look at what people have. Okay, I can do that. Camera. Here you go. You see this? Hey, Kuya. Who wants to try? And then how much cheese? Depending on you. This is how much I would put. And da -da -da. Look. Do you want some red pepper flakes? You want some red pepper flakes, Mikael? This is ours, see? Bon appetito. Right? You want red pepper flakes? Okay, do you want to grab some spoon and fork? Now again, um, you can always add your salt, your table salt, if you feel like you don't, it's not as salty enough for you, okay? We always go easy on our salt in our family because we're just not used to, to too much anymore. Shay, did you try it? Oh, Shay has like um, the emoji that says yummy. Yay. Can you please take a photo with you and your food? Okay, who's ready now? Mia or Connie? Let me know who's ready. We want to spotlight you. Please show us um, your finished scampi. Go ahead, Mikael. Your turn first. Here's my son. Come here, come here, come here, come here. And tell us what you think for real. One to five. Okay. <laughs> Don was going to be your taste tester. Do you need more salt? Mm -hmm. okay. Really? Do you need more salt? It's not salty enough. Okay, he said he needs more salt. It's not salty enough for him. Perfect. He's a team. He can add salt. <laughs> Me, no more. <laughs> so that's the beauty of it. That's why I always go easy on the salt because um, health-wise, it's no longer good for me. But he can always add more salt to his. Or, or ta -da, more cheese. Thank you. What's your rating? One is to five. If he added more salt. Tell them and be honest. Um, okay, 4.5. 4.5, because you want it a little bit more salty. <laughs> All right. Thank you, big guy. Who's ready? Don, you ready? Yeah, my dad said he'd try it. Yeah, okay, come on. All right, here's dad. Don's dad. Please tell us if you like it. How much you like it, please. Oh, remove from the spotlight. You? Yes. Oh, you can? Do you want me to do it? 
Yeah, good. Do you like it, Dad? Hmm? Give him a thumbs up if you like it. Oh, thumbs up. <laughs> you like it for real? Yes? Yes. Yay. We have a new taste tester. Thank you. Who's next? Let's go to Marco and Mia. Thanks, Don. I'm glad he likes it. Let's go, Marco and Mia. Who's going to be your taste tester? Uh, yeah, but there. Thank you, Mia. Go ahead, Mia. There he is. She is, honey. Mia is the taste tester. Let's see. Good. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not. laughs> she can't speak. Is it like restaurant quality? It's, it's a mute. You're in mute right now. Okay. You can sure. it's really good. I give it. I give it a five out of five. Yay! <laughs> See, it's a whole pot and so much cheaper. Cheaper, <laughs> faster, healthier. There you go. Trifecta. Thanks so much, Marco Mia. I'm so glad you were able to join us. Who's next? Connie, are you ready? Let's yes. There. Oh, there's there the, oh, the, 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 the reds. Who's yes. going to be your taste tester? My husband. Oh, come on, Robert. <laughs> Robert is on the spot. Tell us what you think. And Robert is Italian. Uh-oh. It will be a hard. It's very good. It's very good? Perfect. Very good. Nice and creamy. Right? And it's healthier, yeah. food, a healthier version. Thank you so much, Con. So glad you can join us. It's so pretty. Please send me a photo, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then last but not the least, um, we're going to Nerissa. Shay, please send us a photo. Oh, Shay's saying a huge hit with the family. Perfect. Nerissa, there you go. Yes, we we like the lemony and that we put chili flakes. So this is a new thing for us. Mm -hmm. It's a new flavor for us. So it's Did you good. Try it? Yes, actually we're eating already <laughs> busting this plate. So how, how you it's five for us. Five with for the, yeah. yeah. We were skeptical with the chili flakes and pasta, but yeah, it was it's a different uh flavor. Yeah, so it works for this because it's interesting. Of the it works mm -hmm. because of the lemon. Exactly. Right? Perfect. Thank well, you thank for this you. dish. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, this is my favorite healthier version of past of um, scampi. So now you all have it too. So for next week, I would like to announce um, we are going to keep bringing back all of our hits as far as one dish meals like this. Okay. So next Sunday, I'm actually doing, we're going to do one of our fried rices with an S because we've already done several. So what I want you all to do is on the chat box on Facebook, go to Facebook and tell us what kind of fried rice do you want us to teach you how to make on Sunday? Do you want the Chinese fried rice? Do you want the Thai fried rice? Do you want the Filipino fried rice? It's almost Spanish. Or do you want a Mediterranean fried rice? Tell us. You have four choices, okay? We are bringing them back because a lot of you don't know how to make them yet. You have not seen us do it. And honestly, we are creating videos for Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> so we're redoing them, okay? So please vote. But again, once again, thank you. Thank you for joining Hey Home Cooking, okay? For those of you who are not familiar, we go live every Sunday. And if you're interested in coming and joining us to cook, you simply have to send us a message and I'll give you the ingredient list on Thursdays typically. So you can be ready with that. And you can join us on Zoom or like Shay over Facebook and cook along, all right? We wanna turn this into a, um, like, a like a viral type of event, cook along. <laughs> all right, so there you go. Mia and Marco from Lubbock, thank you so much. Dawn and family, thank you so much. Nerissa and Andrew, so glad to have you once again. Connie and Robert and family, so glad to have you for the first time cooking along with us. All right, did I miss anyone? And Shay, thank you, thank you. Photos, please. See you all next week. Enjoy your dinner.
Bye-bye.